Hey, fish tank people. Um, so we did um, some switcheroos today and some stuff on the tanks. I wanted to show you. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen me before, this is me. I'm bald. I have no hair. It's all right here. Wife loves it. Uh, so, Ainsley, what do we do today on the tank? We did all kinds of stuff. You want to show everybody? Yeah? Yes. Okay. What do you think? Want to show everybody what we did today? She got a sucker for helping dad with all the fish tanks. She cleaned the, the glass. She helped put the, with the plants, everything, right? Okay, let's go take a peek. Let's go show people what we did. So we didn't do much. We didn't do anything to this. We just cleaned this one up. This was just a clean cleaning job today. We've got some happy little platies in there. Where's the blue one? He's hiding. He's right there. There he is. He's hiding up there. Yeah, he's hiding behind the cord. She actually is hiding up there. So we didn't do much to this one today. Basically did... Uh, just a quick cleaning. And the blue fish Took a few is actually rocks a boy. The Very blue minimalistic tank. Actually, the blue... No, the blue one's a girl. The Mickey Mouse is the only boy. The other ones are all girls. You have to have a couple girls with one boy. Mm -hmm. So we have two girls, one boy, and we have to add a third because he's tormenting them. So we're going to get another platy this week. But this tank is looking great. We've got some algae growth. We've, all the diatoms are gone finally. The tank's been we up have, and running for almost six months, so it should be. One fast girl and one, and one fast boy. Yeah, that's right. So here's our main. Mm -hmm. Everybody's seen that I've been doing my first attempt at aquascaping on this one. Mm -hmm. So it's coming along. The water sprite grows so fast. Excuse me, Izzy, back up just a little bit, okay? The water sprite grows so fast, it's ridiculous. I uh, I bunched up the java fern, so I've actually put them but take closer a picture together. Of me. I, you're in it already, it's a video. Okay, so look at this java, this, this water sprite is amazing. So it if you clip the tall ones, then it sprouts out from the bottom. So what I've been doing is starting to clip the, t the tall ones off and letting it bunch up from the bottom. I want this to get thick and bushy. So I'm gonna start, and when you're pruning Java Sprite, you have to remember to prune it at the bottom. Don't don't cut like the top of the plant off like this. That's not gonna do you any good. If you just come and chop the top of your plant off like this, then, then you're just gonna, you're, you're gonna wreck things. It's not gonna bush out. It's just gonna keep growing taller and it's, you might actually kill that one stem right to the bottom. So what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of that tall one right there, then you follow it to the bottom. If you find it there and you snip it right at the bottom, right down there, take the plant out. You can actually float the plant and sometimes they'll re regrow roots and you can plant it somewhere else if you want. But, uh, and then it'll grow more shoots out of the bottom like this one, see that? And it'll get bushier and thicker. So if you want thick water sprout, that's the way you do it. Don't just lop the top off. That's not gonna work for you. Uh, you can see here that my java fern, sorry, java moss is, uh, is bushing up. It's still gonna be another week or so before it's fully attached to that rock where I can take the fishing line out, but you can't see the fishing line. You are humming away, aren't you, little girl? And you can see the little tufts that I've put in there are starting to grow quite rapidly. So I stuck in little tufts all over the place. On my, and it, it grows so fast, this stuff. I'm uh, hitting it once a week with uh, Seachem Flourish, and then every few days with Excel, um, because I'm not doing any CO2 in this tank. But uh, I, I don't even have to do any of that, honestly. This. I wouldn't have to put any any nutrients or any uh, any CO2 in this tank, and this stuff will still grow. It's it, they're all really hardy plants. The only reason why I am doing it is because of this plant. So you can see this is a Amazon sword. <laughs> He's a crazy kid. This is an Amazon sword, and these particular ones will require a bit of ferts, and they do like some CO2. So it needs a good trimming. Are you having fun? Is that the good sucker? <laughs> Crazy kid. <laughs> so, that's it. We have one more surprise to show you that we're going to show you in the next video. Right, Ainsley? One more surprise. But that's it. This is the aquascaping funness. He's coming along. And, uh, and we have lots of guppies, too. We had a ton of baby guppies, didn't we? We had a whole bunch of baby guppies. How many babies did we have? Do you remember? You're just being silly now. All right, let's go see the, the other surprise. 